Welcome to the Window Wisdom Podcast, your guide to replacement windows and more. Hi, I'm your host, Ted Kirk, and this is episode number 28. And today we have a special guest with us, our sales manager, Sean Newberry. And Sean and I are going to be talking about um, the Infinity for Marvin replacement windows in an application being used for new construction and also screened in porch conversions. A lot of people know us for for our replacement business, but uh, maybe they're not aware that we do a lot of custom homes as well and a lot of porch enclosures. So Sean will be be here helping me uh, discuss this topic. Welcome to the podcast, Sean. Thanks. I think it's been a while since I've been on. I did maybe five, six episodes ago. I can't remember. Yeah. But well, we're glad to have you back. Absolutely. Um, let, let's jump right in. Um, these are usually short, but, um, you know, really what we want to talk about is, uh, the advantages of, of putting in a good quality window, doing it right the first time yeah. and not having to deal with replacement again. And, and you've had a lot of relationships with, uh, custom builders and, and remodelers and, and even interior designers. Can you kind of speak to some of the projects that, that you've done with sure. them and, and the new construction and absolutely, um, you know, porch enclosure side of things? Yeah. I think there's a lot of value that doesn't maybe immediately get realized. Um, when you're initially thinking about these projects as a homeowner and, um, maybe you've got a vision, you've got inspiration from a show you saw or a Pinterest photo, um, and although, you know, at North Georgia, we make window shopping simple, it, it isn't inherently simple. And so when we partner with an interior designer or a construction manager or a GC, um, we find that our product, our installation methods and our experience really comes in to be a, a valuable part of the project, which for the homeowner equals no bad news and uh, really great design. And when they see these massive transformations, um, it, it'll bring a tear to your eye half the time. Uh, you know, you don't fully realize it in the beginning until you walk in to your house and that window is in there, that siding is done, the paint's dried and, and it's a whole new world for them. Sure. And, you know, an important thing to note here is, you know, most uh, builders, when they are putting in windows, particularly in our market, um, they're usually using one of two types of windows. They're right. either using uh, a wood window mm -hmm. um, or they're using a vinyl window. Um, this is not necessarily bad for us because, you know, we're in the replacement side of the business and we, right. we end up having to go back. But can you just speak to some of the issues um, sure. of using those type of windows to begin with. The installation methods on some of these things um, are not usually very um, visible or discussed with homeowners, um, number one. Number two, the actual product itself. We all know about the flexibility and the expansion and contraction of vinyl um, being a thermoplastic product, um, re regardless of manufacturer. Um, and then wood with, you know, rot and splitting and repainting and all of those things. Um, we have the advantage of knowing, uh, better now with what we have and what we bring to the table and the GC or the designer or, you know, the in-home designer, they like that because they're tied to it too. They're thinking, Hey, I won't have to get a phone call back and I won't have to come back here and maintain this and deal with warranty claims and all that stuff. Yeah. So they're happy about it too. Well, one of the things that you mentioned is painting, right? And, and I think wood has been such a popular option because people like to be able to pick that specific color. They like right. to be able to change colors. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just want to point out to our listeners that uh, a huge advantage that our fiberglass window has, um, first of all, it, if you would like, it's available in uh, many different colors, mm -hmm. and, and that's a commercial grade finish that's made into the window. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the popular earth tone colors like bronze, mm -hmm. um, even black. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was one of our last mm -hmm. podcasts. We talked about black windows. Right. Um, we've got uh, different shades of brown and gray. 
um, your traditional white. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a color called cashmere that's mm -hmm. more of an ivory color. So uh, we have these classic earth tone colors that, you know, most people prefer anyway and not have to deal with painting. Right. But if they choose to mm -hmm. or they resell the home, mm -hmm. then you know, they can paint those fiberglass windows. Yeah. There's the infinity window. There's plenty of vinyl manufacturers or, um, and, and paint companies like bear Sherwin Williams, or even Valspar where it'll say sometimes even on their can, like, this is not good for vinyl, you know, keep away from plastics and things like that. And so, you know, they know it, we know it. And with fiberglass, it's going to receive that custom color much better and it's going to last a lot longer. So, don't limit yourself just because of your color choices. You know? Yeah. Usually in vinyl, you get white or white or yeah. they apply yeah. some type of coating to it that, you know, usually does not hold up or draws the heat. And, and even and then, again, it's, yeah, it's still moving around. It, yeah. It's a, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, you know, let me explain to our listeners real quick, you know, the primary difference. And you talked a little bit about installation methods, but the primary difference between a replacement window and a new construction window really just has to do with a flange. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're doing a new construction uh, application, you're trying to integrate with the exterior cladding and, um, you know, what we refer to as the weather resistant barrier. Right. Um and, and when you're replacing your windows, you don't want to take all the siding off or the brick off. So that's where you get into the various different uh, methodologies But um, for installation. But the main difference is that flange that can be integrated with that flashing or that weather system. Um, right. Because, you know, your windows are your first line of defense against, you know, all the infiltration issues, whether it be air or, or water, moisture um, vapor transfer, those type of things. So, you know, definitely want to make sure that they're sealed up. No doubt. Um, can you speak to, uh, the type of new construction? Um, I would imagine when you're dealing with builders, you're not typically dealing with the one that's building a whole neighborhood of right. what we refer to as track homes. Mm -hmm. uh, where does our product fit in? Well, the custom home side of things, um, you know, the builder that's building, you know, anywhere from one to five homes for a specific type of project, um, you know, they understand the quality needs for this to be done the right way the first time. And with the infinity from Marvin window, having that new construction option and having that flange there and with our install installation teams uh, doing things the right way, um, they're very, very keen on it. And, um, we've had nothing but success with those things from the home builder side. So yeah. where we fit in is, um, a great way to solve a problem and to answer a call that they're having. Well, prevent a problem from, and from happening. That's true. Yeah. 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 Well, and you know, I like to refer to it as if we, particularly if we can get to the homeowner side of things mm -hmm. and, and they're making some choices, typically they'll upgrade the window package. Sure. There's a lot to deal with when you're dealing with a new construction home. You could upgrade everything from the flooring to the, the roofing, to the countertops, to, you know, whatever, you yep. know, there's tons out there. Um, never had anybody regret, regret a, um, premium window and door package. Right. But one of the things that, you know, I, I would point out is people that plan to be in their home long-term, what we call building the forever home mm -hmm. or, uh, a generational type home right. that dream you're building, home, dream yeah. home. Um, this is the perfect product because yeah. you're getting the right functionality. You're, you're getting the right view. And you're putting in something long term yep. that you're not going to have to deal with again. And, you know, windows and doors are usually typically more expensive to replace than they are to, you know, invest right, you know, the, the first time. Around. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't couldn't agree more. Um, we see the value in the homes we're working in because the homeowner found the value in the home when they decided to build it and they decided to buy. It. I mean. That's kind of what we try to make sure that people are saying is we're working on something that you determine to be valuable and we're just trying to get um, in line with that and tell people, hey, don't sacrifice the value that you put into this place when you decided to build it. Let's keep the perspective on value and on uh, doing it right and and uh, long term success, no maintenance, you know. And when they hear that, they understand that yeah. and they go, oh, I don't have to sacrifice. And we're like, no, you shouldn't. 
Well, and I got a personal testimony, obviously using the infinity window for my own home. Right. Uh, my wife and I built this home eight years ago. And, um, you know, just some of the things that I love about it is just the narrow frames. We mm -hmm. have much more light coming into our home. Um, we've got a bigger view out the back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our neighbors have horses. We don't, but right. we get to look at them through the, the window. So that's nice. Um, because the frames are, are so narrow and they're smaller, we were able to build what we call jam return. So we have a, a place where our window treatments fit right into the wall, which was super nice. That's a big deal to interior designers too. And, and knowing how to handle that part of this stuff, you know, they're like, what are we gonna do about blinds? And it's always the question. And when we have an answer that has evidence, they love that. Yeah. You know, and these are details that you may not think about on, on the front end of things. So. Right. Well, let, let's shift to gears a little bit to talk about uh, porch enclosures. Um, generally, we're, this is somewhat of a new construction application because you've got an existing porch here. You're trying to make it more of, I would say, more of a four-season room rather yeah. than, you know, just being able to use it when it's really nice outside or, you know, in the spring or the fall. Right. Uh, being able to climate control it, mm -hmm. um, you know, some of the other you know, advantages would be, you know, keeping the insects out, you know, obviously yeah. making it more comfortable, um, more safe too. I mean, with young kids and wanting them to, you know, utilize the footprint of your home, right? Most people will buy a home with space when they have kids, uh, young kids to teenagers. And, you know, when you have an open ended porch like that, it's treated as the yard or treated as outside. But when you're doing this, going from a one to a two season to a four season, climate control, protected, yeah. you know, in some cases, tempered or laminate glass operational options, it's an extension of the home, not an extension of the yard anymore. Yeah. And, and we see a lot of success by looking at it that way. Yeah. And let's talk about some of the windows in particular that work well in, in porch applications. Sure. Uh, double hungs is probably our, our common window that we see throughout the market, mm -hmm. um, which for our listeners is just a window that opens from the, the bottom and the top, yep. um, also called a vertical slider. Yep, up and down. Yep. Um, but for a lot of the porch applications, we use a lot of what we call horizontal sliders or mm -hmm. slider windows. And mm -hmm. those can come in two section or three section configuration, um, but you eliminate that frame from being in your sight lines. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, advantage there. Um, also, we see a lot of casements yep. um, popular in this application. And again, it's just because when that window's closed, it just looks like a fixed window. Yep. And then when you ventilate it, um, you, you get a lot of ventilation. Mm -hmm. Um, or you can just crank it open a little bit and, right. and just get that top to bottom ventilation. Um, I guess maybe if, if you had a disadvantage to say on that, the, the screens are on the inside on a casement window yeah. versus the outside because they do crank open. Um, and then I guess also you can point out that you can use a combination of fixed windows and operable windows. They don't all have to no. open if you've got a whole room full of glass. If you're on a new construction type project um, where you're kind of in control of the overall design and aesthetic of a home, you can get creative with things. Um, I heard an interior designer once tell me, you know, there is safety and consistency when it comes to the design of openings, meaning it's a fancy way of saying when you're looking at what windows and what doors to put into a home or a porch or anything like that. And so from the double hung to the slider to the casement, um, we have everything that you would need to match the narrative um, that it keeps the equity of the home intact, that keeps the curb appeal of the home intact. I know more porches are on the back of the house, but so are your neighbors, you know, and so the visuals matter. Um, we want you to be happy with it and we, everybody wants to be real happy with it. So all of that's taken into to account um, with this product and what we can do. Yeah. Well, I think we've covered some great information. For sure. um, you know, one thing I would just like to say, particularly to you, Sean, is I really appreciate the approach that you take to sales. Um, you know, first of all, um, you call all of our salespeople design consultants. Right. Um, and you train them to be window and door experts. Absolutely. Um, rather than, 
just sells people. Yep. Um, you know, we're there to help people. Mm -hmm. And um, because they do have so much education and they use their design experience, um, I think so this translates to a lot of success for our company. And I just want to sure. say thank you for the for that approach. And I know that our um, homeowners and prospects that, that we go out and meet with really appreciate that approach as well. So. It's, my, it's my honor and my privilege. I, I'm enjoying it um, sometimes selfishly more than maybe some other people to get to see the testimonials and the reviews. You know, we're there to serve. We're there to get better. Um, and we are the ones looking to honor your home, not just to sell you some stuff. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, if anybody has a custom home that they're building and they want to send over a, a set of plans or mm -hmm. meet with us to see the product or they have a porch enclosure, we would yep. invite you to do that yep. uh, or have us out mm -hmm. to take a look and, and give you a free consultation there. Um, so um, thank you for your time today. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm excited to uh, to see the future and to keep going. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm honored to be here and I'm just excited for what's next. And I would also point out if you uh, need some further inspiration, uh, we've we've just redesigned our, our gallery portion, uh, organizing yep. our photos on our website. So mm -hmm. um, there, there's a lot of great stuff to take a look at there. If you book an appointment with us and, and, and let us come help you out and solve your problems and, and, and let us get to know you a little bit, we have some, like Ted said, some great tools visually that just got released that are going to tell the story a lot uh, clearer. Um, and it's going to get you to attach to your vision and really see it in real space and real time. And um, I think you'll fall in love with this project all over again, for sure. Well said. Thanks, man. Thank you, Sean. All right, bud.